Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I'm going to guide you on how we can easily use ProtonMail. ProtonMail is an amazing program that you can use for email and the first thing that you want to do is click here get encrypted email. Now guys, if you already own the account, um, just completely skip this step, okay? Now you have option which one you actually want. So you can go with the basic and you're gonna have 500 megabyte storage 150 messages per day, limited support, or you can go with a plus, 5 GB storage, send up 1000 messages per day, send encrypted messages to external recipients. So as you can see, only for 4 euro a month, you're gonna have like much more stuff, mainly the storage is a huge plus, and then you're gonna have like visionary. Very good, even better. So definitely choose a plan. We are going to start with a free plan that you can see uh, like the basics here and let's just start so free plan now choose a username so let's say i'm going to make it tutorial for video password have really good password guys i have used also symbols and try to use numbers to create account and now recovery email uh, my recommendation would definitely add recovery phone also with email that's what i would definitely definitely do i'm not going to do it for tutorial sake but when i have gmail i have like six gmail accounts and all are interconnected with each other i have phone numbers on each of them it's really important so definitely have it okay then press skip or next when you have it press next don't don't press skip but we can uh, do it also in settings now again, you're gonna choose the plan here again. You can also see the comparison between the plus professional visionary, the how many users. So let's say we want to have many users. You can use the professional here. And then you're gonna see also the contact groups, address verification, custom filters, everything is in plus, right? Then I'm going to click here, select plan, but you can also like pay it monthly so we can choose let's say plus and test it for the month how you like it so i'm going to choose the free version now and then i'm a human okay and let's just wait until it loads now if you're gonna have any questions guys about proton mail let me down below in the comments so i can give you like guidance advice now let's just wait until it loads and then we will continue so welcome to ProtonMail. Our mission is to build an internet where you are in control. Display name. We're going to choose the display name. I'm going to add Marcus Tonelius. Click next. And now my recommendation would go with whatever you want. I really like this Proton one. But let's say you like the red, choose red. If you like legacy, choose legacy. I like the Proton. Then discover all Proton services get the Proton mobile app. So definitely I would recommend check out the application on Android or iOS. So I, you can just write in Google Proton Mail, mm, Google Play. Look at this and you would find it right here and you can install it. And click next. Import your messages. If you have um, like Gmail, you can import it right here. Start using Proton Mail. So here we are. And first thing that I'm going to give you guys is what you can actually find in ProtonMail. Just click with me. This is just going to be a guidance walkthrough. Right after it, we are going to learn how we can write email, etc. So in the inbox, you would find all the messages. I'm going to also write to myself an email. We would see it right here. We will get to it how we can operate in this um, section. Drafts. Drafts are emails that you didn't send yet. So I'm when I'm going to... I'll create a new message and I'm not going to send it. I would find it in drafts. Send emails, pretty understandable. In the moment when I'm going to send an email, I will see it right here. Start emails are those which are important to me. When I have inbox and I'm going to get a, a write a message, I would find it right here. Archive, in archive, you would find all the messages that are archived. Spam, so let's say someone is going to spam you. You would find it all here. Trash are um, emails that you deleted. 
and all mail are like literally everything. So all mail are all the emails that mm, you got from spam, from trash, from promotion, everything. Now, what I really like is that you can always check guys. Uh, like the drafts here, the sends here, and you can refresh it when you're going to click on this button right here. So that's really good. Now then under it is a folder. You can simply add a new folder in which you would have all the emails. You can add folder colors if you want to. So that's kind of important and labels. You can add labels when I'm going to click on settings here. You can add simple label. So let's say we will get to it how we can add label name. Okay. Step by step. Now, when we understand everything here, uh, let me show you also the settings. You can also find button calendar and mail here. When you go to the next to the upgrade, you're going to see contacts. Here, you can write straight away a contact that I would have. And then I'm going to press settings. Go to settings. Here, you can check the dashboard. The current plan here, all the necessary information. Then when we go even further, we can click on password and recovery. You can change password here. You can turn on two factor. I would definitely recommend having a two factor recovery notification and you can change. As I mentioned, if you press skip in registration, you would find email address and phone number right here. You can also delete your account here. Then we can have the payment that you can add a credit debit card here <clears throat> and security where you can find session management. So as you can see, this is a current session. If I'm going to log in with my phone, I would find it right here and logs here. So general, and then you get the messages here, auto load remote content. Keep messages in send drafts and then undo send. This feature delays sending your emails, giving you the opportunity to undo send during the skeletal time frame. I would get definitely 20 seconds guys only because and change it 20 seconds. So, or you can change like the email that you're actually sending that you can delete it and oh my God, I did a mistake. I need to change it. Then identity addresses, display name and signature, display name, signature. You can have it right here. And then you have like your address. Appearance, this is the themes that we were talking about, and then you can change the layout. So how the inbox looks like, composer, density, if you want to have a row, it's up to you how we can change it, right? Then you can have the use sticky labels, and you can have it too here. Folders and labels, this is where we were. You can add folder labels here, but you can also do it in mailbox. Filters. And you can add custom filters based on what you're searching for stuff. Auto reply. So use automatic replies to inform contacts you are out of the office and otherwise unable to respond. But to have it, you need to have a not free account, but paid one. Domain names. You can upgrade to. And this is pretty much it. If you can have organization, you would have like multi-user support right here. So this is pretty much it. And these are the settings. What I recommend like to have to do. And let me show you the beginning and also like how to use it, like how to use the inbox right here. And how to write message. So when you would come here to the inbox, on the right side, you will always find a message. Here you would find the messages, then you're going to see select all messages and you can mark it as red. You can mark it as unread. You can move to trash. You can archive it. You can move it to spam or you can move it to new folder or you can label it. So that's how we can do it. Now, what you can do now is simply new message. And let's say I'm going to write an email, the test email to myself on Gmail account subject. Hey there. Now, subject, I can change a font. So let's say that I'm going to write 
Hi, Marcus. How are you doing? I can choose it. I can make it bold. I can change the size of it. I can underline it. I can add ordered list, alignment. I can quote it. I can insert link, cool or formatting, insert message. I can also add attachments. I can have expiration time. If you're sending this message to a non protomail user, please be sure to set a password for a message. This message will expire in 7 days and 0 hours. You can set it if you want to, or you can add also encryption here. Encrypted messages to non protomail recipients will expire in 28 days. Message password, confirm password, password hint. You can have it also. Now you can also delete the draft. Now, when I would, guys, close it up and I didn't send it and I would click on a draft I would find it in my draft I'm going to click on it now and I'm going to click send so I'm sending it now okay now it's sending right now and when I would click on the send I can see the email which is going to send right here now I'm going on my gmail account to check if I actually did get the message. So I still didn't get it. But I will probably get it soon. But what I can do, I can also write a new email. It's different. And it's really similar. And you can just write emails as many you want. Send. Now, when we go further, while the email is going to come, oh, we have it already here. Look at this. Tutorial for video, Proton Mail. How are you doing? We had the 20 second delay right there. Hi, Marcus. How are you doing? And now I'm going to reply to it. I'm good. How about you? Send. So I replied from Gmail to my account in Proton Mail. And soon I'm going to find it right here in my inbox. Now, when I'm going to, when I send the message, right? What I can do, I can stare it right here. And you can stare it and then what, you, what are you going to find it? You can click on the stare and you would see it right here. Now, look at this. On the inbox, we're going to one because we did get an email right now. So I'm going to click on it and look at this. This was the first message. How I'm good. How about you? And I can again, you can directly mark it as unread, move to trash. I can move to spam. I can report phishing to Proton Mail. View headers, export it, print it. Filter on. Move to. Or label it. So let's say that's how we do it. Now, when I have the start, let's say this thing here. Let's say that I want to move it to archive. In the moment when I'm going to put it to archive, you would have it right now in the archive. Then you can go simply to spam. And let's say that the message that I send is a spam. So I can click on it, move to trash. Archive, build permanently, but I need to go to inbox right here, move to spam. You can do it like that. And then you would find it right here in spam. Now, when we go even further, we're going to have the trash. So if I'm going to delete something, delete an email, I would find it right here, move trash. I would find it in trash and in all May, you would find all the emails. It doesn't matter if they're in trash, spam, archive, start, you would find it right here. Let me just show you how we can simply also use folders. And labels. So folders, I would click plus here. Folder name, let's say mm, finance emails. If you have a parent folder, you can insert it right here. Color, choose it. And you can have notification if you want to click save. 
and you can simply also add a label label name finance and these will be the labels that you can use so finance emails i'm going to inbox i'm going to click on my mail move to finance emails voila here i have the finance email then i can also add a label i'm i'm like on the l now here on the above click on it and this would be my label and you can see the label right here so that's pretty much how we do it guys and if you can have any questions ask me down in the comments then when you're gonna like how <clears throat> how we want to reply to someone you would see it right here reply reply all or forward it and you can also even label it here right it's already labeled so this is how you use proton mail guys thank you very much guys for watching this was a proton mail tutorial how to use proton mail proton mail guidance proton mail for beginners how to use a proton mail proton mail 2022 you know how it goes proton mail proton mail proton mail i have to like read it a lot of time only because then youtube will recognize it that this is a tutorial so proton mail how to use it proton mail tutorial proton mail beginner's guide proton mail guide thank you very much guys for watching and have a great day and goodbye see ya